And what's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech back in another video and today we're going to show you another projector for your home. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come. Up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the Home Theater Projector C9 by Bowmaker. Remember, we're going to test it out today as well. We're going to see what we get out of it and um, see how well it does as well. So here we go. <laughs> another projector, right? Yeah, you guys love the projectors. So we're just going to show you another projector here. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below as well. There you go. Boom. No box right here. There you go. Inside the box, you'll get power adapter. You'll get an HDMI cable. Yeah, HDMI. Audio adapters right there. Boom. Power adapter. There you go. And a remote. There you go. It's also a bunch of manuals that you can look at on how to use this. Warranty cards. There you go. And different products. I'm going to put that on the side for now. Now, uh, cloth for the lens. There you go. And it comes with the little stand. Oh. Put that on the side for now. Let's take the styrofoam off. There you go. And let's take out the projector. It's actually quite small, so that's pretty good. Pretty handy for home, right? There you go. Let's take out the lens. So let's take out let's take a look at the functions here. As you can see up here, it's a bunch of buttons that you can use to control the projector up there. Down here is the mounting brackets where you can mount it on a ceiling or something like that. There you go. On the side, you'll see the functions right there, HDMI slots, headphone jack and AV, and two USB slots. There you go. On this side, it's a bunch of uh, AV as well right there, VGA I believe. And the AR blaster. The front, same deal. Right there. Here you can uh, change the focus and the uh, and tilt the lens as well. Focus and the tilt right here. So there you go. Now let's try this out. Now this is what it looks like with the uh, Chromecast. With the YouTube, we're gonna watch one of our videos here and test out the sound as well. That's with 50% uh, volume right there. The loudest volume. This is also what it looks like when all the lights are turned on. So to screen mirror, real easy, all you need to do is go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, look for the Wi-Fi device. Uh, this is the mirroring EFC 938, so we're gonna go ahead and put that. Then we're gonna type in the passcode, which is the one to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then hit join. There you go. Once it's uh, all connected, we're good to go. Now we can go to our control center right there and then hit that for screen mirroring. There you go, you'll be able to see my phone. Now let's test out uh, playing a game. As you can see there, you'll be able to see your game up in the screen. You'll be able to hear the sound as well right there. 
it does have a little bit of lag but if you're watching a movie you don't need any of this in the game it's a bit uh, tough but during a movie it's uh, not so bad let's go try a battle here let's do a campaign Now with the Mac or PC, you can do the same thing. Uh, look at the mirroring right there and punch in the passcode. There you go. And then we can uh, screen mirror here as well. You can also use, uh, use a separate display like so. You could drag and drop a bunch of stuff on there. There you go, pretty good. Open up your video just like that. Make it full screen like so and then hit play. As you can see, it's very smooth on the screen mirror in there, so that's pretty good. So this is our projector right here. We're going to go through the menus and see what it can do. I'm not really sure what this part is. When I click the OK button here, there's really nothing happening. But maybe it's just the features that it could do. That's pretty good. If you have, you can use the USB drive. To put anything there on the side and you'll be able to uh, view any movie or music or photo on here so that's pretty good let's go to the settings here as you can see there's a OSD language restore factory default blending on or low or middle there you go high there you go just gonna go with off and then OSD duration. There you go. And then you can uh, update it as well using the USB. Now let's go to pictures. There's picture modes. As you can see here, there's soft, user, vivid, and standard. Pretty good. Color temperature, medium, warm, user, or cool. Pretty good. You can change as well the aspect ratio to 4x3 or auto. It's going to go with 16x9. That's good. Noise reduction. You can uh, change this to high, low, or uh, medium. So go with high. Uh, this is the direction as well that you can change. You can change it uh, rear table where it's projected from behind or you can uh, there's uh, there's an option as well for front ceiling and the rear ceiling it's pretty good we're just gonna use front table because it's on the front table right now and then there's the uh, HDMI mode which is in PC and then you can reduce the display as well up to 75% so that's pretty good Just gonna leave it a hundred percent right now. There you go. And then the sound here is a uh, standard mode. You can change that to user, sports, movie, music, and standard. You can uh, change the there's auto volume as well. You can turn on and off. And then there's the sleep timer. So that's pretty good. I usually use the sleep timer when I'm about to sleep. And then just leave it on for the night and then it'll turn off maybe after an hour or so. So it's pretty good. And there you have it everyone. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if it's any good or not. I would recommend this for the people who are doesn't want to spend too much money on uh, projectors. But it doesn't, I think it lacks a little bit of a, a brightness as well. But for the most part, if you are using this in the dark, it'll do you very well. And that's it for today guys, thanks for watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, if you want to get one of these as well, I'll link this down below, make sure to hit that like button so we can beat that YouTube algorithm, hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful, peace!